So right now we have um, an imine. And of course, an imine comes from a ketone. In this case, it would be one, two, three, three pentanone. And an amine, a primary amine. And it'd be terp-butylamine and then an H plus catalyst. So now we have an imine. And what we're going to do with this imine is we're going to react it with a reducing agent, lithium aluminum hydride, and then second step, H plus in water. This is a way to um, make secondary amines. So it's a way to reduce and add hydrogens to the carbon of an imine. Because lithium aluminum hydride is like H minus a hydride source. So what happens, you can essentially draw it as, just as H minus if you want to, <clears throat> in this case. So a lone pair on hydrogen would react with the carbon of the imine. Right? So this is basic conditions. Hydride H minus is a basic condition. So the first step always in basic conditions is addition. So this is an addition step. And it's also forming what? A tetrahedral intermediate. And you always ask yourself, if you have a tetrahedral intermediate, are there any good leaving groups? Are there any good leaving groups? Two carbons and a hydrogen? Nope. So that means you're done. Right, there's nothing else to add. So then we go to the second step. And the second step just involves H+. Plus. So that's a protonation. So our final product would just be this secondary amine. Secondary amine. So we're keeping track. A way to make secondary amines is from imines. Right? It's from imines. You can make secondary amines from imines.